Hello, everybody. I'm going to just change this just a second, kind of angle it a little different for you guys. I hope everybody's doing good tonight. And oh, it's been such a beautiful day here in southern Indiana. It's been gorgeous today, actually, a little bit hot to be honest with you. And uh, I helped uh, mow, so I've been just kind of busy. <laughs> I helped my husband mow today, so it's been uh, kind of crazy busy. But I'm Vicki Jean with Vicki Jean Wilson Art, and where which I teach you guys how to do some easy sketching and painting techniques to create art that you love to do. And tonight, we're going to do art that you love to do, and it's going to be our bird nest here. Uh, so, anyway, I'm going to move it just a tad, I think. It looks like you might need to have it moved a little bit, I believe. And I am going to be painting on a mixed media pad. I have my paints out right now, and I'm going to put that back. But I have my white and my black and my brown. And I have a, a medium blue and a green and for my ribbons, if you saw any of my before videos getting you guys ready to do this, uh, I am going to choose kind of a gold uh, mustardy color and a kind of a burnt red for my bird nest. And those are going to be the ribbons that you are going to be painting that's kind of intertwined inside the twigs. But the first thing we have to do is to... Uh, start sketching right because that's what you have to do to to start on your painting so you can either use a watercolor pencil or you can use a regular pencil here with an eraser uh, whatever that and you can even use chalk to do this and we don't have much sketching at all on this. It's basically a lot of freehanding, but I do think that you need to get the idea of the shape of the nest that you're going to want. Now that is going to depend on the size of either the pad you have or a canvas you have or a piece of wood you have, whatever you're painting on. You can do smaller nest, you can do larger nest, uh, that is why I do not specify uh, usually a specific size because I teach you how to sketch it regardless whether you're doing a small one or whether you're doing a larger one. So, um, hi Sonia and Sherry. So we're going to wait just a few moments for people to get on here, get your paints ready, get your either your uh, credit card out or your palette knife out or you can use, as I said, a brush on this. Hi, Tina. Yes, when you come on, would you please let me know where you are from? And that way I can, um, I can see you guys. That's what I'm trying to work on now to be able to see. You know, sometimes it gets a little, little uh, funky here. So as I get everything ready for you guys, I want to, uh, be able to see your comments in case you do ask a question. Now I do have a little bonus at the end if you are interested. So um, I will tell you about that in just a second too. So, okay, now I can see comments guys. I'm sorry about that. Hi Dorothy from Florida. Sometimes it shows up and sometimes they don't. But I'm so glad you're here, guys. And uh, we've got Vegas and Yukon, Oklahoma. I used to live in uh, Tulsa area and a little town called Wagner, Oklahoma, a long time ago uh, when I was growing up, actually. So, guys, whatever that you are painting on, uh, grab your pencil or grab your... Uh, watercolor pencil or regular pencil with eraser or a piece of chalk and I'm going to show you how to start this this right here right so I'm going to move this down a little bit I hope you can see okay can everybody see okay I hope so it's funny when you start these lives you have to kind of tweak them a little bit they kind of have a, a life of their own when they start 
you think you got it ready and then something's a little off. So, <laughs> so I want you guys to be able to see it. So here is a sample that I have shown several uh, on several posts. And uh, basically this is a nine by 12 sheet of paper. So you can see, I've got kind of position mine in the middle of that. I have a, a little bit of uh, space here and I have about the same space on the right side too. I've got my uh, nest kind of angling upwards also because I think that adds a lot of character. So we, the main thing that we need to uh, sketch out is this part right here. And that shape there, of course, when you do sketching, you, you learn uh, sketching, whether it is uh, still life, whatever it is that you're sketching, you kind of basically break it down into shapes, right? So if we're working on this right here, then that, of course, would be an oval shape. I think you would be better with an oval shape other than a round nest. Now, I'm not going to say you can't do a round nest. You guys are the artist, and so I want you to do it the way that you want to do it, but I'm going to show you how to do an oval nest because I just think the proportions look prettier, and that's just my opinion, guys. So you're going to take your pencil or your marker, whatever you've got, your uh Char your charcoal, whatever you have to sketch with. And I'm looking at my piece, and like I said, it depends whether you do a small one or you do a large one. Just look at the center of whatever size that you are working with tonight. Look at the center of it, and just imagine an oval kind of sideways, you know, not, not actually sideways, it's kind of going upwards, it's upwards. So I'm going to I'm going to sketch mine, but mine is going to be pretty dark so you guys can see this. And then I'm going to tell you something else here to go with this. So can you see that? It's kind of oval and it's going upward. Now this will be covered. Usually I on the paintings that I do and I teach you guys to do, I tell you to only sketch just light enough that you can still see it, right? Because sometimes you it doesn't cover very well. But in this case, we are gonna go over and over and over this to make the twigs. So you are definitely gonna be covering these lines. So if you prefer to make a darker line tonight, go right ahead and do that. So when I'm looking at my nest, I want to have room in here for my eggs, right? I don't want my eggs coming up here. I want them to be in the center of this. And my nest or my twigs are going to be extended outside of this oval. So you're going to start out and we are going to make all kinds of shapes, but you're still trying to keep the same shape of the oval. And I'm gonna start out and I'll show you what I mean. So I'm gonna grab my credit card or my library card. And I'm just, before I put paint on it, I'm gonna show you the directions that, uh, that I want you to kind of go to. Because I believe you kind of want to keep the same shape. So you're going to kind of go like this. Sometimes you're gonna go like this. Sometimes you're gonna turn it and go up like this. You're still maintaining the shape around that nest. And then when we get closer to the ending and we have a few eggs in there, then you're gonna come up and you're gonna add a little bit of twigs, just a couple of twigs. See like right in here, just a few twigs that's right over the eggs. And it just kind of makes the eggs look like they're nestled inside uh, the bird nest. So we're gonna start in. And like I said, you have got, let me make sure there's not any, I can hear, okay, good. Oh, you lost sound. Can you guys hear me now? Goodness, hope not. Uh, somebody let me know if you can hear me. I have somebody that said they can't hear me. And I hope you can. I hope you can. So um, it's hard to read lips on these things, right guys? You can use a palette knife if you choose, or you can use an old card. 
or you can go ahead and you can use brushes. It's kind of whatever that you think that you would like to work with. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do it with, okay, I think we got sand. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Good, good. Yeah, you hate to not be able to hear anything, right? And you just never know how things are going to go. I know there's storms in different places. It's not storming here, but uh, that, makes a, that makes a difference also. So I'm going to move this thing because, uh, no, I think we'll go this direction here. There we go. Maybe that'll work a little bit better. And I'll bring it up closer to you guys so you can see also. So we're going to start, and we're just basically, you know, as a credit card, it's got a longer edge and it's got a shorter edge. You can use either one you want. It's basically just like a palette knife, right? You've got a shorter edge on this palette knife anyway, and a longer edge. You can use whatever you want. I am going to use the longer edge myself, and I have my paints right on my cheap little uh, palette here. And I'm going to start out with brown. Now this is a darker brown and what I am doing is just kind of running my credit card across that puddle. Now I don't have a lot on it. As you can see there's not much on there, right? And you're going to start the shape of this. This is kind of important. Um, it makes or breaks kind of your bird nest. You know, there's not a right or wrong, but you do still want to maintain that oval shape. So I'm going to go and I'm see how I'm just making these marks and I'm going across it. Now, when I start running out of paint, I just go through that paint again. Now it's going to look this takes a little bit and it looks crazy. You gotta be patient with this one because you're gonna be looking at that thinking, what in the world is she doing? But it will come together, I promise you. It will come together. But you know, then think about the birds. Think about the birds. How many times, how many times are they going out collecting twigs? You know, how many times? We have no idea. But we can tell that they go out quite a bit because every twig is pretty well woven inside that nest. It's a miracle, actually. It's, it's wonderful. Now, I am still going through my brown paint, right? Just kind of running it through there. But you see how I'm still going in direction around that oval. Now, sometimes you might want to kind of move. See, I still got quite a bit of paint on that, right? So you might want to kind of lay it down a little bit in places to get some of that paint off. And then what happens is when you get like a little bit of a thick bunch right there, you just run that through there. And that'll pick up quite a bit of that paint also. And see, I've done all this right here just by running that through there. So we're going to continue with this brown for a little bit here. And what you're doing, if you notice on this, this is a close-up for you guys. Look how, see, you have it wider here at the bottom. See the width here? The width here compared to up here. See that? So on my nest, I just have about an inch from the top of the eggs to basically the top of the nest here. Not this area, but right here, the thick part. Down here, I have at least a couple inches from here to here. So keep that in mind when you are building this nest, just like the birds do. You're building your own artwork and your own nest. And right now, all we're doing is using the brown. So keep working with whatever tool that you are using. I'm using my credit card. Because I told you guys that this is possible to do. And it is. And you just keep running it through. Keep this open though. Keep this oval pretty open. And you can come into it some, 
see, I've come into it a little bit, but I don't want to go into it too much because we're going to add another color to it here in a little bit. Now, I'm going to show you just a second here, once I get some of this paint off of this card. This reminds me when I taught preschool, guys. I taught preschool for over 35 years, and I'm telling you what, I used to go dumpster diving, actually. It's a funny story, but... You never know what you're going to find. And this kind of reminds me, by using a credit card or something old to do something with, to create something, I used to pick up all kinds of stuff for those kids. And we had a lot of fun creating, though. So now I'm going to show you, just in case you are using a palette knife, I'm going to grab this one right here. Can you see that one? It's got the two edges, but I'm using the long edge. And it's basically the same thing. You're using it just like you were using the card. And you have to continue to keep going through this paint. You, you want to show twigs, right? Now, I teach also palette knife painting, and you don't always use a palette knife like this. You use the flat part of it most of the time. But in this case, we are going to go ahead and use the end the edge, I should say. Now on this nest, do you see how I'm kind of coming up here to the right to add a little bit of character? I'm making this part higher than this over here. I'm gonna have some twigs come out. You know, I'm gonna have some that's gonna come out a little longer, right? But I am gonna have quite a bit coming up on this end. And it's basically, you're using it like you would use a knife, just like you were kind of cutting something. Always get your paper towels ready. Always have them ready. <laughs> now, I've showed you how to do the credit card. Now I'm gonna show you how to do it in case you are using a brush. I've got a half inch brush here and I'm going to dampen my brush and let's go into, um, let's see, I'm actually going to show you, uh, still going to show you brown I believe, I still want to keep with the brown, but I'm going to add a little white to my brown. So it's, it's more of a, uh, almost like a kind of a milk chocolate brown just to kind of give it a little bit of a uh, different uh, color so you can see it better. When I'm using my half inch flat brush, I've loaded a little bit of my uh, brush up with the brown and see, I'm just keeping my brush straight, straight up and down. So that is another way. I wanted to show you all these ways that you can you can create this painting. Now I'm watching and see I'm getting up close to the inch mark. For me, that's kind of all I want to go as far as the top of it. But I am not near... I'm not near as deep in the nest as I want to be here. Now, I'll be honest with you guys. I actually like the look of the credit card. So I'm going to go back into my brown with the credit card. Oh, Pauline, yes, you worked. Yes. High school secretary and yes, <laughs> elementary secretary, 34 years and five months. That's awesome. Hi guys, I wanna see who all's here for a second. Glad you can hear me now guys. Okay, 
I'm just still running it in my brown, maybe even pulling up a little bit of white through it. But look how crisp. That does kind of get uh, a little bit better line work. See how sharp a line that was right there? Let me show you closer. Look at that twig right there. Look how sharp that was. Now see, that was created using the uh, credit card. I'm going to have to add a little bit more brown paint. It is kind of amazing how much you kind of use on this. I mean, not a whole lot, but you, when you keep running it through that, uh, your card through it, it kind of, kind of spreads through your, your expensive uh, paint palette here, you know. I have an expensive paint palette, but I like to, I, I kind of use, I like to use this for tutorials. Because everybody usually has some paper plates, you know. Why not? And you can always use tin foil to put your, you know, grab some tin foil if you uh, have that. You usually have a piece of that too. Old cardboard to put your paint on. There's so many things that you could do. Now, can you see behind me here the comment bird nest? If you guys want to have, I know you're painting with me, but some of you might be watching too, and I know I've had messages saying that uh, we wanted to know if this was on replay because they couldn't make it tonight or they might be able to just make a part of it. So if you would like to have the directions or the instructions for a step-by-step -step how to do this, then please comment in the comments. Uh, just put bird nest. And if you put bird nest down, then I will be sure that you will get the instructions of the step-by-step -step of twigs and ribbon, how to do it. Sometimes it's kind of nice to have just a just instructions, you know? How many things do we open up anymore and there's not even any instructions in it? Let alone, you know, I mean, goodness sakes. Or they're all online. Holy moly. Okay, guys. Look at this here. Now, I've just done the brown and maybe a little bit of the white, so it's kind of a, a little bit of a tan color in it. But I am to the point now that I want to darken the inside of my nest. So I am going to take my half inch brush. I'm going to dip it in the black paint. And basically all I'm doing is painting in that center. Now you're going to probably go over with some more twigs. But if you got to this point and kind of started your shape of your nest, now is when you need to go ahead and start painting in the center of it black. That will add depth, of course. It's not a perfect oval, but it's a... Uh, it's going to, a lot of it's going to be covered up here in a little bit, too. I'm so glad you guys joined me tonight. I hope it's not storming where you guys are at. I know everybody's in different places. And it's that's a bad part about spring, right? We get a lot of storms and things coming through. But we're having fun tonight. That's the main thing. Okay, I see some people putting bird nest. If you put the comment bird nest, you will get the step-by-step -step instructions, which is handy to have. Grab me another paper towel here. Kind of wiping off. I'm wiping off my library card because I'm getting ready to change the color of it, guys. If you get to this point, 
where you have your nest pretty close to this, where you've kind of got the shape, outside shape that you want, and you've got the center dark, and I used a black, then what you need to do is go ahead and clean off your either your palette knife or your um, whatever that you're using, you know, your credit card, whatever that you're using. Okay. And we're going to start building up just like the birds do. Let me get this thing on the right way where you can see this. I've got my large easel over here. And... Uh, I might have to add a little bit. So we're gonna take just a moment. You, everybody, kind of catch up a second and get your bird nest like that. Tell you, good old Scotch tape can't beat it. Watch it fall on the floor here in a minute. <laughs> okay, guys. Oh, you're gonna retire. Oh my goodness. Gonna retire in May. Awesome. Awesome. Making sure everybody is still being able. Okay, I've got some people putting bird nests down. Awesome. And because uh, I'd love to give you the instructions on this. Okay. Now, just like the birds do, like I said, we started the basic shape. Now we're going to uh, go in and we're going to start adding some other colors. So what I want you to do now is go into your white. You're going to do the same thing, whether you're using a brush, whether you're using this credit card, you know, whatever you want, or a palette knife. And don't be afraid to, you know, see, look, I've got brown and white together, but I'm mainly going into my white right now. Now, I don't, this is the part that, you're the artist, guys, and you're going to find out what you really, what color you want to pop out, right? I don't think you want a lot of white. I don't believe you do. But let's just say you've got a color on your nest and it's like, wow, you're looking at it and you're thinking, I got too much of that, you know. What you can do is just go ahead and let that dry a little bit. Then you're going to run a different color over the top and it's going to blend all in just beautifully. See how these colors here just kind of, they blend together and there's there's green in there, there's white in there, there's rust color, there's brown, there's white, there's a little bit of black. So all those colors, and a little bit of yellow, all those colors just kind of melt together when we do this. So now I'm working with my white and I'm doing the exact same thing I was showing you guys. And of course you probably won't see it because I have a white background. Um, but I'm trying to add a little bit in the browns that I've got here. Now I'm not worrying still about getting it inside the nest yet because we have to do our eggs. You might want to get a little bit inside the nest, but not much, not much. And you just run in that card or run in your pellet knife, whatever that you've got. And then when you get to the point where you think, okay, I think, I think that's enough white. I think so. Then you wipe off, wipe off your knife or credit card. And it doesn't matter if you've got a little bit still on there, right? So I'm going to add some green now. And actually, I'm going to add uh, the same green that I'm going to use for the leaves. And I'm just, see how I just run that right through there. Just run it right through. And your the nest is going to start to come to life now. See how that just makes such a difference. The more colors, and as you're probably finding out by now, you can hear it. It's it changes the sound of it when you run it across, too. You've got dried paint, it's starting to build up. And it's just, it's just a fun, I think, relaxing thing to do. Because it's, it's almost like a no-brainer, right? We like those no-brainer things, you know. Why not? We don't want to concentrate. We have to concentrate at our jobs. We have to concentrate on whatever, all kinds of things, right? But we don't, we don't want to really think. 
Tonight we don't want to think, we just want to have fun. Okay, look how pretty that is looking, guys. Look at that. I'm going to bring it up closer. You see that? The light lets you show. See it? So all I've got is basically three colors now. I've got the brown, the white, and the green in this. Now I'm going to stop with the green. It's still wet. That's fine. And I'm actually going to even still leave some on. I have a little bit left on my uh, card here. I'm going to run through the kind of the yellow. So it's got a little green, a little yellow. I don't care. I don't care. It's all going to kind of blend together when we get this done. And every color will make it pop a little more. And you'll get to a point where you think, okay, I, th I think I'm done. I think I'm done. I would not, I would, I recommend not using too much of one color. Try to keep it balanced. Try to keep basically, uh, you know, similar, like if you're using uh, yellow, like this is kind of golden yellow, um, try to use about the same amount of green or whatever other colors that you're using. Now, this yellow is kind of golden, but I'm actually going to have fun and play here, and I'm going to dip it in a little bit of my white. So you know what's going to happen there. It's going to change that again. That color is going to change again. Now, remember what I said. You can always, always... If you see something you don't like, you just let it dry a little bit and then go over it again with the brown or your beginning. If you get too much colors, too many shades in there that you don't really want, then go ahead and start doing some brown and it'll go over that again. Okay, I'm going to use a little bit of the rust now and I'm running this through. Got a little bit thick thick paint on there. I've got places that's thick this time. So I'm going to be careful. I don't really want a big smear, so you have to kind of manipulate your card, maybe angle it a little bit, but not too much. You know, you just it's just playing. We, we are playing, guys. Now, if you happen to have a sharp palette knife, that you're using. I'm going to show you some of mine here. These, of course, are metal. If you are using something like this, you do need to be careful. Now, this is just like that smaller, cheaper plastic that I had, but this is the metal one. I use this one all the time. I love it. Uh, you, If you're using on a mixed media pad, you're going to have to be careful. You know, you don't want to tear it. With the credit card, you're not going to tear it. You know, you shouldn't have that problem. But, um, so I, well, I thought of that just a minute ago, and I thought I need to kind of tell you guys to kind of be careful. Be leery. You know, be be uh, be careful when you're using those sharper knives, if anybody is. I, I'm not even sure if you are. I'm going to add a little bit more brown again. Just a tad, I think. Now, it's kind of like any kind of art. Art comes from your soul. It comes from deep inside when you create. Anything you create does. So you're not going to get two pieces exactly the same, no matter how hard you try. Everybody's bird nest is going to be different. Even if I tell you the exact colors to use, it's they're going to be will be different. I can't wait to see some of these that you guys have done. Now remember if you want the step-by-step -step instructions you need to type in bird nest in the comments and I will send them to you. Somebody else might want to join you painting. Okay it kind of comes to a point where if you've 
come to this point and you've added a few colors. So like on mine, I added, we started out with the brown, right? Then we added a little bit of a white, kind of had a, like a light tan to it. Then I added some green and then we added uh, the gold and then the last one I did was kind of the burgundy color. Now this, look at this nest compared to this nest. Uh, this nest is brighter and the only way to achieve that is of course to add some lighter colors, lighter tones of paint. And we will, we will. Uh, but first, before I do that, I want to add these eggs right here. Because when I start doing the lighter shades over some of this darker, I want to pull in a few twigs over those eggs. So what we need to do now, if you're ready to do this, then grab your uh, grab your paintbrush. Now you can use the half inch flat. I'm going to use a small round and I'm going to, now if you feel comfortable, you can do as I do here as far as painting in the eggs. But if you feel a little unsure, then take you a pencil and sketch those eggs. And honestly, that probably will be better, easier. In fact, I'm going to do it with you because I like to do things with you. I find my pencil here somewhere in the mix of all my <laughs> stuff. Okay, I'm going to try to make it to where you can see it. We're going to do three eggs. Threes uh, always seem to uh, do better than twos, you know. So the first egg is going to be slightly angled. To the left. Now like I said, you're the artist, you do this however you want. But my egg is in the center of the black and it's slightly to the left. The next egg we're going to do the one on the right side here and it's basically kind of standing up. Now I try to get them about the same size I'm still leaving some black up here above. I want this to look like the eggs are nestled inside that nest, right? I don't want them looking like they're sitting outside the nest. So this egg here, of course, is an oval shape and it's going to the left side, but almost kind of laying down. So hopefully you can see those marks there. I think you can. And that's how I sketch those in. Just egg shape, three eggs. Look at my comments here while you guys are doing that. So Sherry lived in Tulsa a long time, yes. Louisiana. Everybody else can still hear, it looks like, so that's good. Oh, Pauline, shoot. Hope your internet gets better. Oh, Deb, you taught preschool too? It's fun, isn't it? It's, it's crazy. Crazy. No storms here. That's good. You like the credit card? Yeah, I don't know. I just, uh, actually, to be honest, I've never painted with a credit card before, I don't believe. This is just kind of new. Uh, I was sitting in here thinking, in my studio thinking, and I thought, you know, why not? Let's just have something fun, something different. Do something different than what, you know, you usually see. So, and uh, yeah, it's busy, all right, <laughs> Deb. <laughs> it is busy. <laughs> Preschool is busy. I bet you went a dumpster diving, too. <laughs> to collect things, to collect goodies that people would throw away and, uh, oh shoot, you got to be resourceful guys when you're a preschool teacher, you sure do. Okay, I've got my, my light blue. What I did, I had a medium blue. Now this depends on whatever color you like your eggs, but I've got a medium blue and I mixed my white with it. 
Some people might want just a very light shade blue, but whatever you do, whatever you mix, if you do mix your paints, make sure you have enough of the same shade to cover the three eggs. You have enough mixed up, okay? Sometimes difficult to get the same color. Okay, I'm going to start with my half inch brush and basically all I'm doing is just filling that in. And for some reason I like to start with my center one. Try to make it as oval as you can. Then go over to your next one. If your paint is a little thick, and I suppose you're using acrylic paint, kind of thin it with a little bit of water to make it smoother. Okay, I want you to just do one coat right now. When you get that done, covering those eggs, one, one coat, then just wash your brush out and let it rest for a minute. We'll wait just a moment. Girls, I am a messy painter. Girls, and I don't know if we have any men on here or not, but whoever's here, I'm a messy painter sometimes. Tonight I am. Goodness. <laughs> it's Friday, right? We can be that way. Okay, see? Got the three eggs. I do have one that's just slightly taller. That's no big deal. If I if that bothers me. I can always go over it with black because I've got the black background and I can shorten it. But I say, hey, no problem here, I don't think. Now, I would really like to know, guys, how many is using a credit card? So I would like to know if you're using a brush or a credit card. And you can just shorten it by CC. I would love if you are using a credit card, if you would just post a comment, just put CC and we all know what it is. Because I would love to know if you have enjoyed doing this and trying something new with the credit card. And while you're doing that, I am going to wipe mine off again. And get it ready for the next round. So... As you're letting your eggs dry, they need to be the, the basic color that you want your egg. We will highlight them and we will shade them a little bit, but you need to get your basic color. So mine is still damp. So while I'm waiting on that to dry, now if you have a hair dryer, you can zap it really quick. I won't do it because it's too noisy for you guys. So uh, while I'm kind of waiting on my eggs to dry. I'm going to go ahead and add some more fun things to my nest. Um, I'm going to add a little bit more green. kind of like that green. It's pretty. We're going to be adding some leaves, but I don't want to get too much green because we are going to add some leaves here in just a few moments. Um, but anytime you want to change the shade of something, you know, I'm going to add a little bit of white now. See how that is going to start to pop that nest? But I don't want to go too much with it because um, I'm going to wait and finish my eggs first. It sounds, it kind of sounds like, sounds rough. It should. When you run that card across or you're 
And it probably doesn't sound rough with your brush if you're using a brush, but if you're using a card after a while, everything kind of starts to uh, sound a little rough when you rub it over, almost like a plastic feel. Now, while we're still waiting, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do the uh, leaves, guys. Now, you can do your leaves. It kind of depends on what size you want them. You can do your leaves. Um, you could either do your half-inch flat brush, or you can do a smaller round brush. Depends what size you want. Linda, you going to paint tonight? Okay, and I am dipping, I'm going to use my half inch flat to show you, I'm dipping my brush in my green. It's kind of an olive green, kind of a mid-tone, so that's some yellow in it, of course. And I'm going to dip that, my brush in that. And then, as you can see on this sample here, I have, I have, I kind of tried to balance a little bit with it. So I've got a couple of leaves going up this way, got one going to the right and one coming down. Uh, you, can, you can add a little vine, like really small leaves would look really cute on something like this. But I wanted to show you how to do some simple leaves using a brush with this. Now you can also use a palette knife with that, but that's a whole other class, I think. But right now we're gonna use the half inch flat brush and we're gonna make some just kind of teardrop shape leaves. So I want one, I want my leaves, part of them kind of looking like they're entwined in the nest, right? I don't want them out here in, in thin air floating around. So the bottom of the, the leaf, I'm going to have it touching part of that nest. And on my half inch brush, I'm touching and I'm pressing my brush down and then I'm lifting it back up to a point. Touching, pressing, lifting to a point. Now, that's one way of doing it. I taught some ladies last night how to do this. And I always try to give you guys two ways to do this. Because sometimes it's, it's easier one way, sometimes it's, it's more difficult. The other way to do this is you're just going to get a, above the nest and you're just going to paint in like a teardrop. Just paint in. You don't have to touch, press, or nothing. You're just painting in a simple leaf. See, just like that. Now, there's a difference in them. See the difference? So that's up to you. This is your nest, your way to paint. I'm just showing you a couple ways you can do it. So add you some leaves here and there. And I'm just using the green right now. Let's see, I might bring this one down a little bit farther. Touch, press, and lift up. Now I'm going to bring another one down over here. And I'm going to hold it up so you can see, because I don't think you can see it real well. Touch, press, your brush down, and lift. So it kind of makes a little, cute little leaf. So I think I'm going to do another one over there because that one's a smaller leaf. So I'm going to try to keep some balance to it. Touch, press, and lift it up. So I have on this one a mixture of some smaller leaves and some larger leaves. So I see Cindy's using a credit card and Gloria's using a credit card. Good. Sharon's using a credit card. That's awesome. Minnie's using one. Oh, that's good. Good. I'm glad. Didn't know if everybody thought I was just flew off the cuckoo's nest or <laughs> or what. But I thought it would be something fun to do, you know, but you don't have to do it, right? Don't have to do it. Got another one that's using 
AK Cabin Girl. Oh, I guess that's how I'm supposed to say this. You're using a credit card. Okay. Now, while I'm letting my leaves dry, I'm going to go ahead and touch up my eggs again to just get one more coat on there. You might not need to, but mine kind of needs, it looks, looks like it needs a little bit of a, another uh, coat on it. And probably that's because of the black background, you know, it needs another coat. So you probably will need it too, possibly. And all we're doing is just painting in. Some, something on my brush here. What is everybody doing this weekend? Gosh, I hope the weather stays nice. It was so pretty today. Like I said, I helped my husband mow. We mowed some yards. We mow on the side. I like to mow. It gives me exercise and now, I don't like mowing in July, no, or August, no. That's not fun at all. But we like mowing for people. Okay, I've got my eggs all colored in again, painted in again. You gotta let that dry. And um, we're going to want to show you here in just a few minutes how to uh, kind of shade and highlight those leaves a little bit. Because if you're if you look at them really close, they're just kind of there. Now this one has a little bit of color in it, but like these, these are just solid. So. What we're going to do is show you how to do this. The best way I think to teach you to how to do this, like whatever green that you use for your leaves, you're going to dip a little bit, put a little bit on your brush. Then you're going to dip your brush in some white, right? Just a tiny bit. You kind of have to experiment. So you're going to mix that lighter shade of green. Okay. You're going to come up and on the top of these leaves, you're just going to kind of paint in some color on one side of the leaf. Not all of it. I'm going to show you. Just paint it in to where there's a little bit lighter shade on one side of the leaf. Let me show you. Closer. Close up. Can you see this one here? Now that second one picked up some background paint, but right here you can see a darker green and a lighter green. Now look at that compared to these down here. This one has a little bit of life to it, you know, you've added a little bit of highlight to it. This one down here is, is just a solid green and that's okay, but if you want to, to add a little bit of life, I suggest adding just a, a tad bit of color to one side of your leaves and it just adds something to it. Now I'm going to do the top of my leaves because I'm going to pretend that that sunshine is kind of coming right down on top of that leaf. I don't have it like screaming at me. It's not like a bright, bright color, but it's a little lighter. And I just try to blend that in with my brush Maybe even do a little bit more up here at the top. You know, painting is just, most of it's plain. You just play and have fun. Just have fun with it. A little bit more there. And some over here. So all your leaves need to have just a little bit of a highlight. And we did that by adding some white or a lighter shade of green, whatever you have on hand. 
to create a little bit of a pop of color on those leaves. See? Okay. Now our eggs, guys, we are, believe it or not, we're about done. We have a little bit more work, but I knew this wouldn't be a real long tutorial. And uh, remember to put in comment bird nest if you want the step-by-step -step on how to do this. Instructions on how to do that. Print it out and it will be sent to you. Okay, the thing that we need to do next is we need to kind of shade and highlight these eggs, right? Because when you're looking at them, they just look like three ovals sitting there. There's no knife to them. There's just kind of looks blah, right? So we've got to create it by making it more uh, visually stimulating, but also looking like one egg might be sitting behind the other one. One is in front, one's behind. That's what we have to do. So the way that we do that is by highlighting and shading areas. And that's what we're going to do with these. So my eggs are pretty dry, a little tacky there, but we're going to go ahead and, and I think I can still do it. You uh, make sure that it's not too damp and that uh, they're uh, fairly dry. And you're going to use a, uh, I'm going to go ahead and use my half inch flat. If you have a smaller brush, you can use that. If you have a smaller, like a quarter inch flat brush, that might work really well too. And I have that also, but I, if you've painted with me much at all, you know that I try to use just minimal supplies. And uh, if you have more, that's great, but not everybody does. So I try to uh, make it as simple as I can on the tutorials. Um, so I'm gonna dip my brush, my half inch flat brush in the water kind of blotted on the towel. And when you're looking at these eggs, see, let me show you up close and you'll be able to see. I'll probably have a hard time getting that back up there. But look at these guys here. Can you see that? See how uh, the egg, well, can you see how this egg here looks like it's behind the middle egg? That's what I'm talking about. This middle egg appears like it's almost behind this egg. And then when you look at mine that's painted solid, you don't see that. See, you don't see that. It's just solid. So this is a very important step to use to do. Let me see if I can get that stuck back up there again. I'm gonna have to come up with another thing next time. Again, try to keep on making it better, but guys, it's not so easy. <laughs> it's, <laughs> you try this, you try that. I'll get it though. i improve. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my half inch flat brush. And like I said, I've dampened it in the water, kind of blotted it on my towel. And I am dipping just the tiny corner just the corner because we're not having great big eggs here they're small so i'm just dipping a little bit of the corner into the brown touching just barely touching it kind of working it on my palette a little bit and then on what i'm going to do is see where this uh the, kind of the center point of both eggs are i'm going to touch my brown in that and go around and follow. Now I've got white on that too. Don't look at that white, guys. It picked up some white. I got it on my palette. So let's wipe that off because you're only supposed to see some brown. Here we go. See how that is? I'm following the shape of that center egg, but I'm kind of behind that egg a little bit and curving it to the shape of that egg. So I just add a tiny bit of brown and I'm just kind of working that in the egg. Just kind of softening it up a little bit. Okay. 
Then I'm going to dip my brush, the corner again in the brown. And I'm going to do the same thing on this other side. I'm going to start at the top on that black and kind of go around. Softening the brown. So I'm keeping my brush kind of flat. Now I'll let you see that close up. See, it's already improved. Look how that center egg has popped out. It looks like it's uh, it's forward, doesn't it? It's, it looks like it's came forward. Oh, well, Kathy, that's a great idea. You used a cardboard credit card that came in the mail, yeah? Yeah, great. That, you know, we get them all the time, right? Guys, that's what you need to do when you get that junk mail. See, we can repurpose that. That's a great idea. Okay, we've got this part right here. So now we need to highlight the eggs, meaning we need to add a little bit, kind of like we, we highlighted the leaves with a little bit of white. I'm going to still take my half inch brush and I'm dipping just a tiny, tiny bit in the white. And I'm going over, now I'm painting on my egg, I'm not painting on the black. And I'm going over the top of the egg, I'm starting on my right egg. Kind of pulling that white down. Kind of working that through. So it's not just a line. You don't want a look of a line. You want it kind of a softened white. Now I've got this center egg. I'm doing the same thing. Bringing some white on the top. A down a little bit on the side. And I'm going to do the same thing on the third egg, the farthest one on the left. And I, it's, you want the highlight to be at the top, basically. Now, I probably have mine a little darker, so you, I want you to be able to see this. And let me show you close up. See, I need to work on this one a little bit more, just kind of shape it up some. But that's basically what you want. You want the brown in the center to make it appear like the eggs are just not all the same uh, in the same little uh, niche in the nest. You want one maybe behind, one up front. And then I add a little white. You could done a lighter blue if you want, but my blue is uh, fairly light, so I just went ahead and used white on it. Now, if you want to touch up anything on your eggs, now is the time to kind of do that. So this one egg has bugged me since I've done this. So I am going to shorten it while I have a chance. So all I'm doing is getting the black and kind of making that egg, I'm shaping that up a little bit more than what it was. I'm kind of painting at an angle too, and that makes it a little bit more difficult sometimes for tutorials, but you can always go in here, add and shape, reshape your eggs with just adding a little bit black around it, fill in that black a little bit more. See, that's more the size, more the shape that I was wanting for my egg. Yeah, I like that much better. Now it's the time to do that if you have something that you want to kind of shape up a little bit. So let's look. So far we've got the shape of the nest that we like. We've used different colors in it. 
We've added the twigs, which was kind of the browns and maybe a little bit of black in there if you chose to add some black to it. We've got the center part, the bottom part of the nest. We've added some leaves. We've painted our eggs. Now you can put dots on your eggs if you choose to. These have just a little bit of a uh, kind of a speckle, uh, but not much. And what I've done is I've, I've dipped my brush in the brown and added some water to it. It's very, it's pretty light. It's pretty light color. And I'm just kind of tapping, tapping, tapping on my eggs a little bit. Just tap around. Basically kind of the bottom part with my brush. No, it's pretty, um, it's, it's fairly wet doing that. It's not very, uh, it's not a lot of paint. You might not even be able to even see it right now. And I'm just tapping, tapping, tapping. And then if you don't like that, what you do, you always take a little paper towel and you blot. You don't rub, but you blot. You don't want to rub it and blot. And then let me show you what happened with this by adding just a tiny bit. See, it added just a little bit more detail to the eggs. But they're not exactly, you know, the bird eggs, right? You could add your uh, little speckles if you choose to. A great way to do that is take an old toothbrush and uh, get your paint thin and just kind of fleck it on there. But you got to kind of aim right, right? you got to get it on there. Um, so there's all kinds of different ways you can also do that. You can do it with a uh, palette knife too. Dip a little bit in the, the brown and you're just kind of doing this number with the palette knife, touching, touching, touching to wherever you want to put it. And then, like I said, to soften it a bit, you take just, just a slightly damp part of your towel and blot, blot. I do this a lot. A lot of my art, you know, I always keep those paper towels handy and you might not want anything like that, but uh, see, it just adds, adds a little bit more each time. What you're doing in painting is just layering. Color and contrast and layering. Okay, so what we got to do now, see the difference between up here and down here? We've got to pull up that bottom nest a little bit higher. And we want this part right here to be lighter. So I've actually used some yellows, and uh, but I used my gold paint and added the white is how I did it. But if you have a yellow, but I'm just still using my gold, and I'm just going to run it through, and then run it through my white, and kind of mix up my color here, and it's going to be a lighter yellow. Like I said, something like this, you can kind of be messy. You don't have to be perfect. Now I'm going on the very bottom of those eggs and I'm pulling those twigs up a little bit into that nest. You want them to start to look like they're nestled in there. And mama bird's gonna come back and still have her baby's eggs right there. They're not gonna fall out. She's made sure of that. Now you don't want to cover up too much, I don't think, you know. Uh, if you see some other places, do you want to add some more? And now's the time to do it. Add some more twigs. I usually always kind of leave this area right here the lightest of all, basically. It just kind of highlights it. it there's a contrast between that lighter uh, yellow and white and those eggs right behind it. And of course, pull out some lighters, lighter uh, twigs here and there too. But see how light that is there.
And if it's too much, run it through your brown again. Tone that down. You can even add a little black in it in places if you like below that yellow. I mean, you could go on with this for a long time, but you'll get to a point where you stand back and you look and you're happy with it. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this because it's been a lot of fun. It's something different to do. And like I said, please comment. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I got Mary. Yeah, they match. See, I've got my B shirt on, girls. Got B shirt on and uh, B earrings. Thought I'd dress up for you guys. Um, thank you. Um, make sure you comment. Comment Bird Nest if you want the step by step. And I will send it to you. Give me a few minutes. Also, uh, this will be, uh, you have to give me a little bit of time, but it will also be on my uh, YouTube channel. So you can watch it, the replays on uh, the Facebook page or the YouTube channel too. But um, I hope you have enjoyed it. You can, uh, like I said, you can still play with this more and more. It's, you know, it could go on and on. And uh, I've got my palette knife now and it does basically the same thing. You could close this in a little bit more. Kind of however you want your size. I'm going to add a little bit more. Uh, let's just see what this does. I'm going to add a little bit of this blue in the nest. This one does not have it. Just a little bit of blue and see what happens here. Here and there, not not a lot, just a little. Kind of adds. That's kind of pretty. Kind of reminds me more of fall, and you know, color plays a big part on feelings and things. But uh, you know, you could also add. You can add any color of that. You could add a brighter yellow. You can add reds in there. Whatever color you want, guys. So uh, thank you, Sherry. Thank you, guys. For joining in and uh, stay tuned for some more I've got I've got paint all over me guys I hope you don't get as messy as me um, see this painting here the lemon if you are into lemons if you like the bright uh, sunshiny colors I'm going to be teaching uh, you how to do that and that is going to be let me make sure I give you the right date guys the calendar here is going to be uh, Wednesday the 14th. Wednesday the 14th, which is coming right up. And it is also at six o'clock. So if you would like to do the lemons, uh, and it won't take long, it's not gonna be a real long, I'm, I'm going to say probably an hour class two. And it's acrylic, but if you like to do watercolor, you're more than welcome to do watercolor, but I will be telling you, I'll be teaching with the uh, acrylic paints. So uh, stay tuned for more information about that, but that's going to be next Wednesday at 6. And the last time, if you want the directions, put Bird Nest in the comments, guys. Uh, I appreciate you coming here. Thank you for joining, and uh, we'll just see you again pretty soon. Anyway, it's been Vicki Jean with Vicki Jean Wilson Art. You guys have a good weekend. Have a good Friday and the rest of your weekend. Bye-bye.